आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ In this question we are asked to draw a labeled diagram of a section of an enlarged view of microsporangium of an angiosperm. First of all what is a microsporangium? Sporangium is a structure which bears spores. Then what is microsporangium? First of all we have to know that pollen grains are referred to as microspores. Therefore Microsporangium is a structure which bears microspores. Therefore, microsporangium is the structure which bears the pollen grains. Now let's come to the parts of the microsporangium. The outermost layer of the microsporangium is called the epidermis. The epidermis is followed by the endothecium which is followed by the middle layers which is followed by the tapetum and finally the innermost the sporogenous tissue there is also a connective present here which provides nourishment to the anther the epidermis the endothecium and the tapetum are single layered while the middle layer which is present between the endothecium and the tapetum is one to three layers Now let's see the functions of these layers. The epidermis, the endothecium and the middle layers are protective in nature. They also help in the dehiscence of anther. That is, when the anther matures, then these layers help the anther to burst open and then the pollen grains are released. Then comes the tapetum. The tapetum is the innermost layer which possesses which nourishes the developing pollen grain the cells of the tapetum possess dense cytoplasm and generally have more than one nucleus the tapetal cells can become binucleate or multinucleate by undergoing endomitosis in the endomitosis the nucleus divides within the nuclear membrane but the cytokinesis does not take place When the anther is young inside the tapetum is present the sporogenous tissue the sporogenous tissue differentiates into the pollen or the microspore mother cells as the anther grows as the anther grows the microspore mother cells further differentiates and undergoes meiosis as the microspore mother cell undergoes meiosis each microspore mother cell give rise to a microspore tetrad which give rise to the pollen grains therefore we can say one microspore mother cell give rise to one pollen tetrad which further give rise to four pollen grains so indirectly one microspore mother cell produces four pollen grains therefore these were the parts of a typical microsporangium of an angiosperm plant क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ से लेके नीट आई आई टी जेई मेन्स और एडवांस के लेवल तक 10 मिलियन से ज्यादा स्टूडेंट्स का भरोसा आज ही डाउनलोड करें डाउट नेट आप या व्हाट्सएप कीजिए अपने डाउट्स आठ चार सौ चार सौ चार सौ पर